All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, I want to welcome every one of you today on the latest lesson. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate every one of you. I want to thank you for the love you all showed me in my last video. It's, um, um, it really makes sense. So I really want to appreciate every one of you. All right. Um, today, people have been, every video I'm doing, I'm doing it based on what people are, have been asking me. And I really want to appreciate everyone that has been contributing with question in one way or the other. Now, somebody asked me, what is SEO writing? I know how to write. I can write. But why are you guys still talking about SEO? So today, I want to take it one step at a time. I want people to get what I'm saying. I want everybody to understand what SEO means. And that is why I'm just going to be doing some brief explanation. So this lesson is going to be in two series. The first one, we will talk about SEO. And I'm going to explain if you are already a very good writer and you want to know about SEO, then you should follow, you should listen carefully to what I am saying. So today, what you need to know about SEO, series one, that's, that's what we are doing. So I'm going to... I'm going to share my screen with you so that I can explain what SEO is. I'm sure you're seeing my screen. I'm sure you're seeing everything now. This is a topic. Basically, I used to tell people that everybody can write, but it's not just about writing. It's about doing the necessary things. When you say digital marketing, you still need SEO. When you say ad writing, you need because ad also get into search engine now seo means search engine optimization that's the meaning of seo search engine optimization now if you take a look at this topic here it says how to use sd card as internal storage normally anybody can write on this topic but then can you write and it will get into um, the search engine. Now, it's not everybody that have access to software SEO and um, Yoast SEO and other forms of SEO tools, Neil Patel, and many more. So there are ways you can do research on SEO. And that is why I said this is going to be a series. And I'm not going to rush the process. I'm going to take it one step at a time so that you can understand what search engine optimization is. Now, for instance, look at this topic here. It says how to use SD card as internal storage. Guys, I hope you're following. I hope you're following. Now, it says how to use SD card as internal storage. Now, the first one is part one, introduction. That is how the write-up should go. And that's why I tell you that as far as writing is concerned, this is not the writing we do in our university, in our secondary school or in our primary school where we just write. The digital marketing space is competitive. And that is why for those that still don't understand SEO, when you search something on Google, even if you're searching academics, you will realize that it will show the first 10 pages for you. For instance, if you're conversant with academia.edu, I use academia for anything academics. I use ResearchGate. Then um, I've forgotten the other site. These are the top sites you will see when you are searching for anything academic. What it means is the first 10 pages, you are, the first 10 page that Google will show you that you know you will see. Let's take for instance, let me open my Google Chrome for easier understanding. Now look at here now. I want to search how to take care of my pets. If you see, you will see that there are suggestions here, how to take care of your pet, how to take care of the pet animal, how to make my pet an emotional support animal, how to make my pet a pet service. These are how to make my pet, how to make my pet a service animal. These are things people are searching for online. And that is why it is called SEO. So I want to believe you, you, you have a clearer understanding of what, I'm, what SEO is. 
SEO is search engine optimization, what people are searching for online and the words they are using to search for it. You know, I wrote how to, oh, pardon me, how to uh, take care of my pet. If I press enter, now, guys, I want you to follow me. Take a look at this, how to take care of pets at home, tutorials point. How to take care of your pet, wiki how. 10 tips for taking care of your dog, Edita Rod. Um, how to take care of your, how to take care of pets. Now look at these five ways. You will see that they are all ranking, but you will see the one that is number one is tutorials point. Then followed by wiki how, then this Edita Rod. Um, wiki, uh, okay. Uh, we have, okay, just, Take a look at the website. Now you will see, come down here. You see that it is one. If I click two here, it will load the next page. The same place, if I click three, if I click three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's going to load different page. However, these ones you see in the first page are the ones that have done their work correctly. They have input the necessary keywords. Um, the right meta description. If they are using WordPress, there's what we call SEO. Now they've written, they know what they are ranking for. They know where they want to rank for and they have input that word into it. Like I said, brothers and sisters, this is a process and I really, really want to join you with you. And I also want you to follow me, follow my lead rather. Yeah, <laughs> let me put it that way. Follow my lead as we're doing this. So these are the people that have done their work. Now let's come back to what I have here. How to use SD as internal storage. Now, if you search for, let me put the word, let me put it here so that you can see that it has brought out different suggestion. How to use SD card as internal storage. You can see CalCare. CalCare is a very great brand, a very great brand when it comes to anything, phones and technology tips. You can always bank on CalCare. CalCare is very, very reliable. You can see how to use SD card as internal storage on Android CalCare. Now, this is a work given to me by a client. I have done the work. I have done the work, but for the sake of tutorial, Maybe in our next series two, I am going to do this live so that you know that what I'm teaching is real, is real. It's not fake. I'm not reading any scripts. Now look, look at this. He said part one introduction, meaning I must write introduction. Part two, give detailed solution on about how to use SD card as internal storage. Please check more articles online and do not use the same solution from one or two existing articles. Now, that's that. Now, in that comes here, it says, add the following keyword in the first paragraph and other paragraphs for four to five times. How to use SD card as internal storage. Meaning, what we are ranking for is how to use SD card as internal storage. And if you want it to rank, you must mention it in the first paragraph and it must be found in the body of the write-up, not adding now. Now we are still coming to that. And that's why I said, this is a long journey. This is a long journey. So now, four to five times, he said how to use SD card as internal storage. He said, also had the following keyword naturally in the article, how to use SD memory card as internal storage, how to set SD card as internal storage, Android, Samsung, iPhone. Meaning what this article should entail is how to use SD card as internal storage on these three smart uh, mobile devices. The Android, Samsung, iPhone, how to use SD card on it. So, now this is where, the, where many writers have issues. For instance, clients, some clients do have issues with giving Nigerians work. So they have issues with giving Africans work, for instance, but Nigeria mostly. But you also find out that despite the fact that Nigeria seems to be 
having issues of plagiarism, Nigerians are still the best freelance writer. And that's why I'm saying if you're a Nigerian and you want to survive in this freelancing world, please focus on delivering the right job. Focus on delivering quality. It, it, it pays me whenever I see clients say, oh, you're a Nigerian. Uh, I'm not sure I want to give you this job because I've given it to an African. They went to use articles, spinning. No. If you want to be an authentic writer, be ready to write. And well, let's come back here. How to use SD card as internal storage. This is referred to as the main keyword. Main keyword. This is the main keyword. Now, this here are sub keyword. Sub keyword. Meaning, I don't know if I've mentioned it in any of my tutorials. I said there was one time I was given a write up and I was given three keywords. And I was told that the first keyword should appear 30 to 40 times. The second keyword should appear 20 to 30 times. And the third keyword should appear five to 10 times, 2000 words. How do you do that? So writing takes a lot of techniques. You must be tactical. You must, in fact, you must be careful because the people that are giving you job, they don't want, they don't care how you do it. The ask is that you provide quality. You provide quality. And that is why I said, this class, I just want to give you the basic, what you need to know about SEO. They are so, but we are starting with the first thing is the body of the right of where the main work is. We have the, in SEO, you must always start with introduction and in your introduction, the main keyword, how to, the main keyword must always appear in your first paragraph because Google has, um, in Google uh, analytics and I think algorithms, then they will, once it is scanning through your write-up, now these are things that the tech guys can actually explain better, but I am a writer. And since I have done my training very well in SEO, I can tell you this. So you see this, this is the main keyword now, how to use SD card as internal storage. It must appear in the first paragraph and it must not look like you are fixing words because that is what many writers tend to do. And that is why I said, you can't go into the writing, freelance writing job without having a mentor, a mentor guiding you. And if you're open for mentorship, of course, you can always indicate your interest in the comments section. I will engage you. I will give you a link on how to get through to me and, you know, we take it there. All right, guys, it's not free. You're going to pay from any country. You are going to pay. Okay, so this how to use SD card as internal storage. It must appear in the first paragraph. If possible, let it appear in the second paragraph and then make sure they are appearing in each paragraph. Now, you remember the instructions and that is why I'm telling people that writing is about instruction. This client has given me an instruction. He said it must appear four to five times, but it is always advisable you make it five times. Now, these keywords alone cannot help and that is why we have sub keyword. Now, those sub keyword are other related searches that pertains to that niche you are writing on. And that is why we have how to use memory card as internal story. As you all know, memory card is a popular word. Memory card is a popular word. Android, Samsung, iPhone, these three words, you know they have to do with their mobile devices. So the niche where this is Related is technology, but phone technology. So that is the niche you are writing on. There is what we call H1 header, H2 header. We have hyperlink. Now, hyperlink is where you link, you link authoritative sites into your write up. And majorly how you do it is control J. Let us assume that this is where I want to link a word. This is where I want to link a word. You see guys, this thing I'm teaching you, 
I learned, I learned them while writing because there were clients that gave me job and they were not happy with my job, so would insult me. But I was able to pick from their message, and that was how I managed to improve. So, as far as the freelancing world is concerned, you must be ready to learn and don't take things personal. Like I said, if you remember in one of my tutorials, I said be ready for rejection. Now, let's assume I'm looking for a keyword, and this is how to search keywords in Google. Let's let's follow Google. Now, you see, this is SEMrush. SEMrush is another one ideal SEO. Now, let us assume that you are writing on SEO and you want to link an authoritative site. SEMrush is an authoritative site. So you can just copy this blog post from your browser, whether Chrome, whether Mozilla, anyone you're using. So I like the word. First of all, I like like this, then press Ctrl J. I said control, not control J rather, sorry. Control J is justified. Control K. Now paste the address here, then pr press OK. It means when people are reading this and they automatically see this, they know that there is a link here. So once they click it, it will link them to SEMrush. So, you know, SEMrush is an authoritative site also. SEMrush from there would detect how people came to their website. And before you know, your website start getting links because you are linking authoritative websites. So SEO is a very, very tactical writing. Like you have to sit, you have to plan. You don't just go to the system, open the mouse. Of course you can type, let me start typing. No, SEO doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So that is how it works. So don't forget what I've said. I talked about main keyword. I talked about sub keyword. I talked about H1 header, H2 headers. Uh, but majorly, H2 and H3 headers are what you use when typing. The heading, the major title is usually the H1 header. So, of course, make sure all these words come in into your write-up. So, this is where I'm going to stop here today. This is series one. So, in our series two, we're going to use this write-up as a practical example so that you can see, so that everyone can understand. Those who asked me to explain the SEO, you can understand this. Now, one thing I want you to understand is, go over this video again. Listen to what I have said, so that you know that, okay, I have treated, I have done justice to the introduction. So this is just an introduction. All right, please, if you know anyone interested in learning SEO, guys, kindly help me. Recommend my channel, help us share our link, encourage people to subscribe, like our video, leave us a comment. Even if you do not leave me the right comment, I want to improve. I want to hear your mindset. I want to know what you think about my channel. Please drop me a comment in the comment section. And of course, and I'll catch you next time. I remain your humble writer, your, your left-handed human being. Yeah. So... I catch you same time, same channel in the series two of SEO on how to create it perfectly. And I'm sure by the end of this lesson, you will learn. Like I said, I have a lot to teach and this is just the beginning. All right, once again, thank you for joining me on this section. And I want to say, have a lovely